Baseball in France has a history going as far back as anywhere else in Western Europe, and its popularity today is, unfortunately, no greater than it is in any other European country. Nevertheless, they've managed to maintain a long-running professional league, achieved a top 25 ranking, are two-time participants in the WBC qualifiers, and have managed to put a few players in the major league system. According to one source, baseball was first introduced to France just after the end of the U.S. Civil War, when American artists made the trip across the Atlantic, attracted by the Impressionist art movement that was born in France at that time. With them, they brought their bats and gloves, and when they weren't painting, they would organize baseball games among themselves and with locals, attracting small crowds along the way. Not sure if that story is true, as it's not mentioned by any other sources, but we do know that baseball first appeared in France in the 19th century. The Spalding World Tour, which introduced baseball to the British Isles and other countries, made its stop in Paris on March 8, 1889. The Chicago White Stockings played an exhibition match against a team of various National League players in front of 1,500 spectators. Some schools and athletic clubs began to include baseball among their sports, but the Major League Series failed to create the kind of following that was seen in Britain around this time. It wasn't until 1913 that the sport started to take off. That is when the first national championship was held. Clubs were mostly based in Paris, but a few could be found in the provinces as well. One of the championships around this time reportedly drew 3,000 spectators. In early 1914, Major League returned to France when the Chicago White Sox and New York Giants played a pair of exhibition games, one in Nice and later one in Paris. Later in that same year, the outbreak of the First World War brought organized baseball to a halt. However, the sport's popularity may have actually increased during this time. Baseball games were played first among Canadian soldiers in their downtime, and later when the Americans arrived, the number of games and players involved increased dramatically. This included several major league players who had signed up for the Army. Among them was 300-game winner Christy Mathewson, whose playing career had just ended in 1916, a year before the U.S. entered the war. He was clearly not impressed with the potential of the young French athletes. He was quoted as saying, I don't believe you could pick up a first-class catcher in all of France. They're more afraid of a hard-hit liner or grounder than they are of a hand grenade or a German 77. Seems a little harsh, but anyway, the French were excited to have the opportunity to see and play with and against the North Americans, several of whom were professional ballplayers, and in the years immediately following the war, baseball enjoyed its peak popularity in France. More clubs were formed and more universities started playing. At the 1924 Summer Olympics in Paris, baseball was played as a demonstration sport, where an American team beat a French team 5-0 in a four-inning exhibition game. Later that same year, the French Federation of Baseball and Softball was founded, and that organization continues to manage the sport in the present day. Baseball continued to make progress throughout the 1920s, but all that progress slowed down at the start of the 30s, and came to a complete stop when the Second World War began. When the war ended, the game was restarted, and annual national championships were held once again. In 1955, the French national team made its first appearance in the European Championships. But in the following decades, baseball was played in front of very small crowds and received no national attention. But things started to pick up in the late 70s. Between 1976 and 1987, the number of baseball clubs in France jumped from 21 to 170. The reason given for this is that American things became trendy in France around this time, and baseball was considered a very American sport. However, you can't help but notice that this increasing interest in baseball would have started just after the establishment of the Montreal Expos. Very likely that the launch of a major league franchise in the French-speaking world had more to do with it. Following the rise in participation in the 1980s, French baseball was ready to take its talent to the next level in the 1990s. Their amateur baseball league, the French Division I Baseball Championship, started bringing in paid foreign players in hopes of raising the league's talent level. One of these players was Canadian pitcher Jeff Zimmerman, who in 1996 played for Barracudas de Montpellier. Three years later, he became an all-star reliever for the Texas Rangers, taking a very unusual path to the majors. In 1994, the national team made its first appearance in the Baseball World Cup. In 1999, they had their best ever finish in the European Championships, placing third behind the Netherlands and Italy. In every European Championship since then, they finished between fourth and eighth. In 2013, they participated in the first ever WBC qualifier, but made a quick exit after losing 8-0 to Spain and 5-2 to South Africa. They returned for the 2017 WBC qualifier, and this time picked up their first win, a 5-3 victory over Spain in the loser's bracket. They lost twice to Panama, but lost respectably both times, 9-2 in the first round and 7-4 in the semifinals. For the 2021 qualifier, the one that was cancelled, Team France was to be placed in qualifier 1 with South Africa, Germany, Nicaragua, Brazil, and Pakistan. 
They were not expected to advance, but had enough talent to pull off the upsets needed to advance to the main tournament. Presently, they are ranked 23rd in the world, and since 2019 have been managed by French-born Bruce Bochy, the legendary three-time World Series winning manager of the San Francisco Giants. The French Division I Baseball Championship, known as the Division Elite at the highest level, has been around since 1926, crowning an annual champion mostly uninterrupted since the 1950s. Eight teams compete in a 28-game weekend schedule from spring to fall, following a system of promotion and relegation, and a 16 playoff. Paris University Club has claimed the most titles, winning 22 between 1955 and 2000. But the 21st century has been dominated by Rouen Baseball 76, also known as the Rouen Huskies. Founded in 1986, they won their first league championship in 2003, and have since won 15 of the last 17 titles, including the last five. In 2007, the Huskies became the first French team to reach the final of the European Cup, losing 3-1 in the final to Kinheim Harlem of the Netherlands. Their next best finish at the Cup was fourth place in 2012. Two players from that 2007 Huskies team became the first and second players from the French League to sign contracts with major league organizations. Center fielder Joris Baer spent two years in the Dodgers system, while catcher Frederic Hanvey spent three years in the Twins organization. In the next few years, two more players from the French League went on to play in the minors. Seven players born in France have reached the major league level, but all of them moved away at a very young age. Bochy is the best known among them, but the most accomplished player was Charlie Lea, whose nine-year major league career included an all-star appearance in 1984 and throwing a no-hitter in 1981. So, how far away are we from seeing a French-born, French-raised Major League All-Star? Maybe not too far away. Participation is up, more schools are taking up the sport, equipment is becoming more available, and the quality of the fields and other facilities are improving. But the rise in participation has not resulted in a growing viewership. Attendance at games in the French League is very low, and there is little demand for baseball on French TV. That would certainly change if a young French athlete becomes a star player in Major League Baseball or if Paris is the next choice of destination for a major league series in Europe. And that very likely could be the case. No doubt, when you think about major cities in Europe, the first one that comes to mind after London is Paris. If MLB isn't planning on going to Paris, they're at least considering it. If this does happen, Stade de France might be their best option. Seating capacity is 75,000, but when configured for baseball would likely be in the 50,000 range, about the same number that was seen in London. That is, if it can be configured for baseball, something they would need to check on. So that's it. Baseball has a long history in France. It's not a popular sport there, never has been, but it is growing, and the talent level is rising. It's a country baseball fans will be hearing more about in the future. Anyway, that's all for this one. Until next time, this is Baseball International. See ya.